You've organized that death six times in the last ten minutes. Well, I just want to make sure everything's nice when Faith and Charity get here. It's already nice. They're going to love living here. I know I do. Come on, let's take a break. I want to go outside and look at the stars with the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to do when Faith gets here in the morning is tell her that nothing bad is ever going to happen to her again. She'll be safe here in Harmony. Then I'm complaining, but what was that for? I was setting up the video on the computer so I could see my sister tonight. I'm glad it worked out, Grace. Yeah, me too. I guess you're right. I guess all those bad vibes I had about tonight were just my imagination. Well, I'm sure it has something to do with your twin ESP with Faith. I mean, everybody knows that twins have a strong psychological bond, even when they're apart. I just don't understand that little girl's warnings. You want me great courage for what's going to happen tonight, Grace. It will frighten you, but you can't give in. If you do, it will be the end of everything. I will be lost for you and your family. There's something I didn't tell you about her, Sam. Well, what is it? The little girl is actually a statue at the church. I saw her come to life. Grace, that's impossible. I know, it, it sounds crazy. I mean, that's what Eve and TC said, too. It must have been a miracle. Hey, I believe in miracles. I mean, but there's got to be another explanation. Like what? Well, the little girl could be another sign of your twin connection with Faith. I mean, you sensed your sister was close by, but something always kept you apart. I mean, she could have been a way for you to verbalize your fears that you were never going to get together. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, I'm sure that's what it is. You and Faith have finally found one another, and nothing is going to come between you ever again. I want to believe you, Sam. Trust me. Nothing bad is going to happen tonight or any other night. It's just that I can't get the little girl and her warnings out of my mind. So much has happened in the last 24 hours. You're exhausted. Your mind's just playing tricks on you. Do you really think that's all it is? Absolutely. I mean, you found your sister. You discovered you have a beautiful niece and are coming here tomorrow. And Becoming members of our family. I mean, things couldn't be better. Yeah, I'm being silly. I have so much to be grateful for. In fact, I'd like to go down to St. Margaret Mary's and give a prayer of thanks. Oh, honey, it's late. I, I know, but I'm not going to sleep at all tonight. And on the way down there, I can stop at Tabitha's and make sure everything's okay. Tabitha, are you down there? Grace? Sam? What is that smell? Isn't it awful? I was just gonna go down to the basement and see if it was Tabitha's cesspool. Yeah, it must be what it is. You know these old houses. Yeah. So, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way to the station, but uh, I can drop you off at church. That'd be great. I feel so much better after I give a prayer of thanks for finding my sister. Mm. Tabitha must be out enjoying an evening stroll. for reuniting me with my family. Why did it get so cold? Are you trying to warn me? I have searched so long for my family. Please don't take them away from me now. Father Lonigan, it's Grace Bennett. Grace, what are you doing here at this hour? Well, I, I came to thank the statue for answering my prayers. You sound troubled, Grace. I had a premonition, Father. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. There have been signs. I need to tell you, Grace. 
I felt the statue earlier today. She was crying real tears. What do you think it means, Father? I fear innocent souls are in terrible jeopardy tonight. <laughs>